Um, uh, maybe I'll talk about walls this game. I feel like people are always asking me how to how to throw good walls. Chat, you want to do an educational game? Hmm. Hmm. Love is kind of crazy with a spooky little boy like you. Spooky little boy like you. Educational game? All right, let's do an educational game. What are we running? Sig, Torb, Bap, Zen. Wow, we got a Pokemon. We got a big Pokemon, and they're running a Moira. Ooh. Okay. And a Widow. So I'll probably be using walls to like cut off Moira from fading. Oh, they're running a Zarya though too. So I'll probably be looking for a wall on Zarya after she uses a bubble. As long as we can do like a... I don't know if we can do a hard push though. We're running freaking double poke comp. Uh, I don't know if the Zarya is a good pick. Ah, big wall here actually. Yeah, we're just going to keep pressuring this until they're all out of abilities. Uh, Zarya no bubbles. She's pretty low. There you go. Nice. Yeah, so essentially what we're trying to do right now, um, since they're running a very like this double sniper poke comp we're also running it these engagements aren't going to be like really close so i'm not going to be going for like big walls and then like trying to like push in there and get a lot of pressure on them uh mainly we're just going to be forcing out abilities with wall so anytime that we can from a distance safely so we don't die in the process i'm gonna try to wall people off and force either like cleanse or force more bubbles or like we've been seeing i've been using it to relocate to high ground really quickly so i can contest that widow uh from close range if she gets close enough. Yeah, we're just playing real safe right here. Um, so I'll probably use this wall. Cut off the Zarya from our Sig, because our Sig's getting really low. And Zarya's low. Oh, they got both in here. Okay, so we're gonna play out a little bit now that they got the Casino Rush. I might use this wall to help our Sig again, since they're running the Zarya. And again, he's really, really uh, vulnerable to a high charge Zarya. So I gotta keep an eye on his health. He's dead. I can wall a Zarya in here, though. She's wall, she's wall, just uh, force her bubbles. Yeah, break him, break him, break him. She's one, she's one, she's one. There you go. I'll take that trade with the uh, tank. Hopefully our Sig doesn't die here. Oh, he does. Let's see, they're down there, Zar. I'd say that was still a pretty good pretty good play there. I don't think I'd get out alive if I don't kill that Zarya. Anyways, so that was a good trade. Fortunately, uh, we didn't have a support there. Uh, yeah, go for the touch. If you can pocket Immor, Torb, and then I can come out with Freeze. Nice. Nice. Uh, maybe? Your mic's really quiet. I don't know if you said anything. Ooh. Huge play! Uh, use this wall to keep our team alive. I'm gonna drop freeze, like, now. Should be big enough? I get the Sombra. Oh, she's one! Alright, I'm gonna sit on payload. Sombra's low. Well. Carries on, you guys. A wall is here. I'm gonna force out the jumper, maybe the cleanse if we can. If we get the cleanse out, that's huge. There's the cleanse. So in the next fight, they're not gonna be they're not gonna be up that, so we can actually place really aggressive here. Carry no jumping no cleanse. Make sure we live. Got a new wall ready to go. Um, we're not gonna be able to use that window because they're pushing up. So I'm gonna use that. Great. Fortunately, blocks the Kitsune. Hey, there's a wall there, buddy. There you go. Nice. Oh. The high charge Zari, dude. Nice. Uh, we don't have much. We have primal. Nice. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, that canceled the primal. We can use that. Good stall though. Amforce. That's that's actually really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. We're gonna regroup. And we'll hold him uh pretty close. All right. So we actually had a really good hold there on first. Um, we're gonna try to hold closer though, mainly because um it's gonna be hard for them to push through that uh choke. And wall is really strong in that first check. Wall isn't really great outside of that on the second point. So if we can get an early hold, uh, May will be really strong here. So I'm gonna try to encourage my team to play up a little bit more. The Zarya gets too aggressive. I might be able to get a wall to force out her bubbles. Now she's fell back to her team. So they already got through. We didn't get regrouped fast enough. So they're gonna push through. Now what I'm gonna be looking for is just really anything to pressure people uh, again for abilities. Might be able to catch, like Zarya down that bubble is really good. Sorry, no bubbles. Okay, so we can use that to cut them off a little bit. So, usually, like, the the biggest thing about wall is using it to separate teams. Like, taking, making a 5v5 into, like, a 5v3 for, like, even just two seconds can win you that team fight. That's why I'm always looking for opportunities to, like, separate people. Even if you can't get the elimination off of it, you can still force out abilities. And in Overwatch, really crucial abilities are, like, the make or break for team fights. Like, forcing out cleanse... 
uh, forcing out Moira Fade or uh, forcing out Zarya Bubbles, like that's those are really big uh, abilities to get out early. Because if they don't have those up, it's gonna be really hard for them to take like big engagements. So I'm looking for that. So like, if we see the Zarya Bubbles down, they're going to the right room. So I'm not gonna use that wall just yet. I might be able to wall the Zarya. Zarya's walled out. I'm gonna pressure her a little bit here. Force out another bubble, maybe. Okay, so she pushes in. If she hard pushes, I'll freeze. And I'll use this to get out, because she's not going to push me in this. There you go. Cool. Let's keep back on high ground here. We got a sojourn behind us. If I can hit a shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep her at bay for a second. There's a sojourn right where you're coming out, Hog. Okay, I didn't hit a single shot there. Just got to make up for that. Okay. Support diff. Pressure at the left. Uh, chase that. Forced out the cleanse, which is huge. And we're going to be able to wall this Sojourn so she can't slide away. She's probably going to kill me, but hopefully our team follow up. Oh, no, they're gone. Okay. Cool. Our team was an on -field. Uh, Still pretty good, though. OT push. Huge pick on the... Uh, you guys are four. Yeah, this is worth. That's not too bad. Zoning out? Um, kind of. I know if I didn't ult there, the Zarya was going to push me because I'm down cryo. Um, so I would rather ult and live than die because they're going to be able to push that in without me there. You're down too. Can we like... Yeah, I can push up here. All the steps with Zarya. Force to play on the ground here a little bit. We're going to live. We're down our ability, so we got to play really passive now. So I'm going to back up and wait for my next wall. We're close to freeze again. Okay, new wall coming up. Nice. So now I can wall this here. Force this out so we can just focus on the Sojourn. So I make this way easier for our team to just focus on, like, the thing that's pressing us. Cool. I got freeze coming up. I'm going to use it right now. That's cleanse. They freeze. They freeze if you break bubs. Nice. Uh, she's one. She's literally one. Yeah, good cleanse. Nice. Good hold, too. Yeah, so it's kind of like in the moment things, especially when your wall is off cooldown, like you never really know exactly how you're going to need to use it. But in the moment, like you you can, there's like multiple ways you can get value from it. So there's like never like a perfect wall. Like in that same situation where the Sojourn was ulting from behind us, instead of walling off their team so we could turn and focus the Sojourn, you could possibly wall the Sojourn off to give you guys like a second to rotate away from it before she's able to actually get shots off. And that might've gotten a lot of value there too. Um, the reason I like walling off the team, though, is because even if you wall off the Sojourn, they're still pushing at you with a high charge Zarya. Um, and that Sojourn is going to be able to break the, the wall pretty quickly just by shooting a pillar once. So I opted to wall out their team to give us a second to turn, address the Sojourn for a second, uh, be able to eliminate her so she's not getting the additional pressure from her team. So literally our whole team, when they saw that wall come up, you could probably, you probably saw it when it happened too. all of them turned towards the Sojourn instead of addressing the problem that was on the payload to them, even though they heard the Sojourn all go off, they weren't turning. But the moment the wall came up, everyone was like, well, I can't do anything here. So let's go turn and shoot the Sojourn, which is exactly what I wanted them to do. So it's kind of like, um, on, using a wall in a way that's, um, uh, like you can get creative with it, but I'm saying there's not like a specific right way to do it, but you can get value with wall just about anywhere. Uh, you just have to make sure you have a reason for it. Like, um, you get wall, what, every eight seconds? So every eight seconds, you can you get another opportunity to throw a really good wall somewhere. It can be good, it can be great, it can be fantastic, it can be terrible, but um, what I see in a lot of May players is they don't use wall enough. Um, there's, like, almost always an opportunity to use wall. Unless you're completely out of a team fight, there is always a time to use wall. Like, right here, I love to use wall to either separate the tank from the team if they push up too far, or... Just do this and give our team a chance to rotate through here without taking too much damage. And get this payload underneath the play here. And again, we're just playing slow. So we're just getting payload. As long as nobody dies, we can just keep pushing payload and force them to drop. So Zarya pushes. She falls back, though. So I'm not going to use the wall there. We're going to keep playing underneath. Now, I am going to use the wall here, though, because she pushed up, got too aggressive. And we're going to force out those bubbles. Force maybe their supports to help here a little bit. Oh, damn. We got knocked out. Nice. Huge pick on the Zari there too. So again, that's one of those examples. Like with if our tanks up, their tanks down, that usually means we're gonna win the team fight. So like my focus, especially as a May player, but in Overwatch in general, should be how can we help eliminate the tank as quickly as possible. Now you can eliminate a support, that's great. You can eliminate a DPS, that's fine. But until you really like take care of the tank, 
um, there's still a, a pretty good chance that they can take that fight back. That's why it's always my like priority is to like knock out the tank. If I see them overextended, I'm gonna use the wall. Either A to force out their abilities, and then we can push into them and then kill them. Or they're down their abilities, and then we can just kill them there with the wall, which is great. So we're gonna play a little bit slower here. I don't know what our hog's doing. Oh, actually a great time to wall this here. Give us a little bit of protection to play behind. Hopefully not get okay, I'll use a cry to live here. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, there's not much for me to rotate out of. Yeah, no, I probably die here. Nope, I can live. I'm gonna use wall to play behind. Get some healing. Sorry's behind you. She's half. One bubble down. A cryo. Nice. I'm on that uh Yari. I'm on the Yari. I'm on the Yari. She's one. Uh yeah, we could probably. Soldier's low. Nice. That works. Hopefully she doesn't have a thing. Damn it. She freezes though. <laughs> that works. Okay. Just gotta. Junkrat's one. He's literally one. Nice. I'm gonna use this wall just to make sure I live. Remember, living is the priority. So, and it's nice to use wall before. Like, if, if you think that you might need to use your cryo. Um, it's always better to use wall because wall doesn't always guarantee that you're gonna live or I mean sorry Yeah, wall doesn't always guarantee that you're gonna live. So I like to use it first when I'm like kind of this like getting pressured um, But I'm not like in super big danger. So like let's say I've taken like half damage I'll throw a wall up first to play behind and if they hard push me then I'll use cryo um, the problem with using cryo first as like your like, it, it's a good panic button, but if you always use it, like, the moment you use Cryo, the enemies are going to push up into you. And then once they're into you, it's very hard to live that engagement. So I, I like to use the wall to either sustain myself for a little bit longer or to use it to create space. So, like, let's say I wall them, I back up more, and then the moment they break through my wall and they start pressuring me again, I'll use my Cryo. And so I'm at least a little bit closer. They're not able to surround me before um, I break out of that Cryo. So, um, that was fun. Did you guys like learning kind of how much like how I use wall a little bit? I don't know if that helped at all or made any sense. I feel like I was just ranting the whole game. But I was kind of like talking about like my thought process, like what I'm thinking as I'm playing the game. And you might notice that that every single time I use wall in the moment, my wall is back up or even like when it's almost ready. I'm always thinking about where I'm going to be using it next or like the options that I have. And that's what I kind of mean by like a wall first mentality is that even though you're doing other stuff, you know, in the meantime, you're always looking for that cooldown on wall to come back up and just constantly get value with it. Just value, value, value. Always looking for it. Looking who's out of position. Looking who's in trouble that might need help. Looking for any way that you can use that wall to block damage, rotate things around, um, cut some people off, force out abilities. Um, there's always something you can do with it.